Hi friends, welcome to netcorner.com. Today we are going to look at how I have created realistic looking terrain from real world height data for my new game Chasing the Brigand. Please do visit my YouTube channel to view the video blocks created on my learnings while creating my dream game project. And please do subscribe on my channel and click on the bell icon if you like my videos and would want to receive notifications. So we are going to create the terrain using images called height maps. A height map is a, a grayscale image that contains height information. Uh, the darker pixel represent the uh, lower height area and the lighter pixel represent areas of height and terrain. So the location what we are going to uh, use is small town named Pallar which is situated in uh, Karnataka bordering Tamil Nadu. Small village terrain has a uh, water body nearby uh, and a river flow river flow river system uh, flowing uh, around the hill like this is the hill and there is a small uh, river ter river terrain that is uh, going around the hill and you can clearly see that uh, uh, sand and river terrain very clearly from the satellite that means like the water flow is not so uh, heavy okay so this section of uh, terrain is our place of interest we will import this terrain in unity and create a forest terrain using unity tools okay uh, so let's see on how to import this terrain as png height maps okay so um, we have already uh, uh, cornered the location uh, what we want to import into our unity now what we have to do is uh, go into this uh, tool called heightmap.skydog.pl uh, which will help us to download the terrain as a PNG height map. Okay, so basically what this tool uh, provides us is a capability to select a 18 square kilometers of terrain on the Google map. Okay, uh, realistic terrain like as you can see clearly this terrain what I am seeing in the screen is actually matching with the map that I am showing you in the Google map, right? So this is that location that I have selected and this is the water body clearly which is going and the look hill 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 area around which the water is flowing now the same thing can also be seen in the same uh, this uh, browser tool as browser window as well like the water body and that small hill uh, and the water body flowing around the hill right and this is a small road path and there is a road that is going around the hill and uh, and crossing the small river okay and the same thing is also visible here all this is your road going around the hill and crossing the river okay so uh, once you have uh, selected the uh, terrain in this uh, particular uh, uh, tool uh, do uh, 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 identify uh, basically like whatever is the uh, latitude longitude that you are selecting and it will it will also give you the uh, maximum height and minimum height of the selected terrain so for this 18 by 18 square kilometers of uh, uh, 18 square kilometers of terrain the maximum height is 127.9 meters this is important uh, reading that we have to uh, remember when we create the terrain in unity we have to set the terrain height to the minimum of one to eight zero meters okay and uh, uh, that this is the basic information you will know about your terrain selection and all you have to do now is simply uh, click on download png height map okay uh, once you click that it will download your height map and uh, once downloaded you can open it up and match it with the selected terrain in the browser okay so here if you see here uh, this this whole blue color river is getting uh, identified in a dark black so this is that lowest part or the darkest spot in the terrain like which means this is a clearly this is a water body and uh, this is like a flattened uh, this is a ground 
on which dense forest cover is there and this uh, from the dense forest cover this is where the hill foot of the hill has started and the hill has uh, the exponentially the hill height has grown and this is a flat surface on the top of the hill that is the reason why this is fully uh, full bright white represent that this is a flat surface on a height uh, on a height of a hill at a, okay and then uh, as we can uh, already identify right this river system uh, which is flowing around the hill it is not so dense water like like how you see here this water body is pretty dense green the reason because the water body is uh, is the flow is very high or the, maybe this could be a uh, a reservoir or can some uh, something okay whereas here from here and when it comes to this sub river system right uh, there is no much water so that is the reason even here also in your heightened map like you can clearly see this path is there but it is not so dark in pixel okay so that represents there is a small water flow system around this uh, continuation of this but it is not so bright uh, not so dark uh, representing that is as a river flow but this whole thing is our river flow system around this terrain like it is growing all the way from here here and is going all the way to the other side of the terrain okay so um, we have downloaded the height map so the next thing that we need to do is import this terrain into unity uh, let's quickly uh, do that by opening the unity okay so we are in unity hub uh, 2.4.4 uh, what we will do is we'll quickly create a, a new project and we'll select the HDRP template. Uh, this is a high definition render pipeline template where we create our uh, game. And uh, for now, we are uh, like I am creating as a demo terrain project. So I'll just simply give the uh, project name and select the folder. Okay, as demo projects. Now I click on create. So the project got created uh, by default when you create uh, when you create a project using HDRP template uh, default scene would be created uh, which will help you to understand the uh, latest concepts that were introduced in HDRP and there is a uh, predefined tutorials around around it right now we are not going through that so uh, even this say scene also we are not going to use uh, what I'm going to do is I create least I directly go and create a new scene okay and I will save this scene as demo terrain and I'll just unload the default scene so that I can see the finite space with this blue sky okay uh, next thing that we need is enable the terrain tools package uh, it so simply go to uh, package manager and click on unity registry select terrain tools and click on install okay now it got installed uh, once it is installed successfully you will see a new menu in window uh, called as terrain and terrain toolbox open the terrain toolbox so when you create a terrain using terrain tools uh, default uh, terrain with our length is like around thousand by thousand that's like one square kilometers but if you remember the terrain that we are going to import is 18 square kilometers terrain okay so we'll keep it to 18,000 by 18,000 and the terrain height uh, the terrain height what we have selected is max height is 1279.9 so the terrain height here here I'm giving is minimum like one two eight zero, so I'm giving like one three double zero, okay. And once you give this default uh, width height uh, settings, now this um, we have to uh, import the terrain uh, uh, height map into our assets, okay. Uh, simply go where the terrain got downloaded. Uh, just drag and drop the terrain height map into your assets window and again go to uh, terrain toolbox import height map select that checkbox and select here and filter the height map name 
just do a double click and now click on create so this this step has created one huge terrain in our map like you can click on double click on this and you can see that terrain now which got imported matching with our google map okay like if you see here uh, uh, for us the main uh, identification mark is that river flow system right like what we have spoken now this is that river flow system and this is the hill what we are uh, referring uh, river flow system which is going around the hill like this is where this uh, from here onwards the water density has reduced so because it is pretty uh, it's very light uh, when you have imported the terrain the water river flow system did not uh, uh, create so uh, properly we have what we have to do is we have to sculpt this terrain manually making sure this river terrain right we are continuing around the hill or we are maintaining this whole river flow system from this end to that end right so that the water body is there as per the google map or like from there here on like you can customize yourself like if i if i want to make sure this river instead of touching on the other side say like if i am interested to turn the river on this side of the hill and you know i can end it on the this section of map as well okay so uh, so what we are seeing now here is a single terrain tile like this is like a massive 18 square kilometer terrain right now if you want to paint this terrain with trees grass and all it's a very humongous task right like it's like one single terrain like to manage the terrain uh, with minute information of creating a grass, adding a lot of uh, objects, 3D objects or like, you know, texture objects into it is going to be very difficult. So it is always better to start with a simpler and smaller tile maps to manage. So to do that, uh, what we are going to is split this tile into multiple one square kilometer blocks. So how we are going to do again like select the terrain and click on terrain tools go to terrain utilities and edit the terrain so here i am splitting it into 16 split tiles means like overall my one terrain of 18 square kilometers is getting into split into 256 it is like a 16 by 16 uh, matrix uh, 16 by 16 tiles so around 256 tiles it will create and each of the size will be around one square kilometer okay so now what will happen is like you will have more control on each and every tile that you are uh, painting like you can take say for example if first i want to complete my river body system right so all that small terrain tiles through which this river body system is flowing i can select it i can bring in rocks around the water the sand in the water um, i can create some cliffs around the water system and then i can increase the terrain i can connect that uh, slightly i can go and increase the terrain uh, height and match to the hill and you know the, from there on I, I'll start creating the forest in the hill oh, so we'll have more control like now on each and every uh, element of the map so this is like default one what we have initially created we can simply delete so now if you see here this is where um, things are looking like so 0 1 two three so if your player is starting from uh, in in this direction say for example your 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 when you start your game uh, in this direction then this belongs your this makes your y axis and this makes your x axis or if you keep your player in this direction when you start the game then you will build everything like taking the reference as this as y axis and this as x axis right so uh, the, uh, you always have to keep your reference point when you start developing the terrain okay so uh, in in my case my interest of terrain is this section right so i have to make sure 
whatever I am developing the terrain, right? I have to make sure that this is going to be my main view of the game design, right? Like some plain and small hilly areas, and suddenly a, a huge hill will be there. And this is where the whole dense forest will be created, and this wow, and we will develop this water body, and this will will paint this hill with lot of uh, trees. And and you, if you remember, there is a small road going around this. Uh, hill and crossing by a bridge over the hill and then it, the road continues to come towards this side of the hills hill hills okay uh, to keep it in the real uh, uh, world google map so this is where uh, Palar village is situated uh, the way the game uh, game design we are going to create and this hill area is nothing but Male Mahadeshwara Betta. Uh, this is like MM Hills. Uh, there will be uh, another level that is going to create around MM Hills. Right now, we are concentrating on Pallar. Okay. So, uh, that's it. Like, we have imported the realistic terrain uh, into uh, Unity. Now, the next process is that we they paint this texture, uh, paint this terrain with realistic uh, grass, trees, water bodies and all. We will uh, cover it up in our next video. Thanks for watching the video. Please do subscribe if you like the video and also do uh, click on the bell icon for receiving the notifications. Have a nice day.